In this video, Ducati riders will think twice before leaving, says Paolo Cibati. RNF Racing has attractive options beyond Yamaha. And Kevin Schwantz not surprised by Suzuki's decision. My name is Sankalp and this is your Racing News Fix. The fight between Anea Bastianini and Jorge Martin for the factory Ducati seat seems to be tilting towards the Grassini rider right now. And as a result, Jorge Martin is covering all his bases and looking elsewhere for a factory seat. At the French GP at Le Mans, Martin's manager was seen speaking with Honda. But Ducati sporting director Paolo Cebati is convinced no matter who out of Bastianini and Martin gets the factory seat, every Ducati rider will listen to Ducati's proposal before going anywhere else. In an interview with Motorsport.com, Paolo Cebati was asked if he thought the decision regarding the factory team lineup could alienate some riders. In response, Cebati said, I think any rider who is riding a Ducati today will think twice before going anywhere else. Not only because the bike is very competitive, I think the overall package, the kind of technical support we give to all the independent teams and the fact that Gigi goes to speak to all of our riders after they are done with the factory team, it is something that I think the riders and the teams appreciate a lot. Pointing out the lack of available factory seats on the market, Chavati continued. On the other hand, I don't think there are so many opportunities or many good opportunities left on the market. Obviously, we need to see what Honda is doing. Apparently, it looks like they don't want to continue with pole. And then it's whether Aprilia wants to change its riders, which I don't think they will do. So I don't see the market so active and so stressful. So riders who can do very good results on Ducati, I am very sure they will listen to a Ducati proposal before going anywhere else. When asked if they have a deadline to finalize the rider lineup, Chavati said. We are in that stage where we need to assess a little bit the situation and hopefully between Mugello and Asen come up with a final setup of riders to which teams. Aprilia is now a race winning bike and the director of Aprilia Racing, Massimo Rivola thinks the next logical step is to run more bikes on the grid by having a satellite team. And if we are to listen to the paddock rumours, it would appear that RNF Pidu Yamaha might be becoming RNF Pidu Aprilia from next year onwards. The reason is clear. All other independent teams already have contracts with their respective teams and Dorna are adamant that the two grid slots left by Suzuki will not be given to another independent team. That leaves only RNF Racing with a contract with Yamaha expiring at the end of this season. In an interview with Speedweek.com, RNF team boss Razdan Razali spoke about what he thinks about his team's future. Razali said, For us, as a new team, we naturally want to continue with Yamaha. It was never our intention to change manufacturer after just one year. We want to continue, but we have to wait for Yamaha to decide whether they want to continue with us or not, until Mugello. Speaking about the backup plan in case things don't materialize with Yamaha, hinting towards the Noale factory, Razali said, At the end of the day, I have to look for options and a backup plan. This backup plan is attractive this year, so we are not worried. If Yamaha makes us an offer that we are not completely happy with, there is another option. And while the paddock is still recovering from Suzuki's decision to leave MotoGP, MotoGP legend and Suzuki's 1993 world champion Kevin Schwantz was asked to share his views on Hamamatsu's shock decision. Speaking with motomagazine.co.il, Schwantz said that the news didn't really surprise him that much. Schwantz started by saying, I wasn't really surprised because Suzuki has struggled to sell new bikes and products in recent years. I would like to say that I'm surprised, but it is not the case. When you see the bikes, the riders, all the team staff, it seems like everything is in place. You may think they are doing their best to keep competing, but financially it is a big undertaking. MotoGP is a huge effort and being inside it is not cheap, that I can assure you. When asked about the possible reasons for Suzuki leaving, Schwantz continued. Sometimes it may seem like men in suits are the ones who decide on everything. But I also think that when there is something that is really important to them, they find a way to make it happen. Whether it is a mistake or not, we will have to wait and see. But maybe spending so much money on big prizes doesn't make sense to them. How many current Ducati riders will stay on a Ducati next year as well? Let's chat in the comments below. If you made it till here and still are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And don't forget to check out these two videos which I know you will enjoy.